There's not many videos I make on this channel that feel more like an obligation than a want. But in today's video, I believe it's very important to spread awareness on a certain content creator that I've covered in the past and their terrible behavior and how they've excused it and continue to upload content on YouTube like they did nothing wrong with their malicious and illicit engagement with a minor. Today, I'm gonna catch you back up to speed on the Len Totally drama and tell you how it's diversified and expanded over the past few days. So, to catch you up for the people that don't know, Len Totally is a gacha content creator that does these incredibly well-made animations. I don't think just because they're a terrible person, their talent should go unnoticed. Len Totally has a clear talent and knack for this kind of animation. However, Len Totally also engaged themselves illicitly with a 14-year-old while being an adult over the age of consent. Now, while they live in the Philippines, and legally, you can technically have an illicit engagement with someone 12 years old and up, that is not the problem here. The problem here is that they've done the GR word, which I'm going to refer to as predatory behaviour for the sake of this video ever making it onto the platform. And they've also engaged with and received videos of this child in indecent and illicit scenarios, including what would be considered by most people cheese pizza. If you don't know what cheese pizza is, it's the analogy we use to avoid YouTube literally smiting us, which if you take the first letter of both of those words, put those first letters together, you'll know what I'm referencing. If you followed my last video on this scenario, if you haven't, I'd recommend you watch my first two. In that video, I discussed how Len Totally had admitted to what they did, delivering a community post that read the following. Though again, my side is always part of this, the evidence is true. As much as I regret it, I did such things to someone. Later on, they also state, So, predatory behaviour. It didn't really reach the point that I'm affecting their life in a bad way. That's what I think anyway. It was just me and her. The thing is that we were really open about each other, and I have evidence of that. I guess my mistake is simply going with it. Even if it got out of hand, I'm still to blame either way. From this community post, you should be able to tell that Len Totally acknowledges and knows very well what they did was wrong and a crime. And with that, this should have been the end for them. There should have been no more follow-ups, no more any of that. But they decided before to release a response where they tried to clear their name of everything. And although they admitted what they did, they tried to pass the blame, made excuses, got other people to make videos basically defending them. And they tried to somehow get away with all of this terrible behavior. However, in today's video, we'll talk about their new community post, how no one is buying it, and how absolutely atrocious it is. As a victim of some of the things Len did, I was infuriated, absolutely, utterly infuriated, reading the post he made. So, today, I'm going to read it to you, I'm going to highlight every single thing that's wrong with it, and then I'm going to call out Len once again, and not give them the chance to return like they intend to. But before I begin, if you're new to the channel, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I make videos every single day on various different topics. I post at 6pm GMT, 1pm EST, so your returning viewership means a lot. Only a small percentage of my viewers are subscribed, so if you're in that percentage that aren't, please do subscribe, it helps out a lot. You may also notice there's a notification bell down below that you can click. If you click it, you can turn it to all, and that means you get told every time I upload, you get to see the title. You don't have to watch every video, but just those notifications I think can be very helpful in being up to date with my channel and me not disappearing from your life eternally, because I believe some of my videos have very important context and topics that you'd probably enjoy watching more of. I know that this video is quite a serious one, but I still think that there's a lot to gain from this video, and that's why I'm making it. It amazes me that over 5,000 people have turned on notifications for this channel. All of your avid support means a lot. I appreciate that, that that many people watch my content. Also, my other social media are linked in the description. I'm aiming for 3,000 Twitter followers by the end of the year and 2,000 Discord members by the end of the year. So if you're not checking out any of my social media already, please do check it out now. That would be highly appreciated. Finally, thank you to Toby for the art base in the video and the thumbnail in this video. It means a lot. I really appreciate their support and work that they put into this channel. Go check them out. And yeah, I can't prolong this anymore. Let's get into it. I'm going to cut out certain parts of the community post that have no relevant mention in this video. And I'm going to highlight the important things that I think I can rebut and respond to within this video. Though, before I do get into those things, I'd like you to note that the full context will always be on screen, so you know that I'm not cutting any context at any point of this video. The thread starts as follows. Let's just say the exposers did not expect my actions once it was done. When the exposed video was uploaded, during that month I came to the conclusion to simply contact the victims, in quotes, 
parents. It took three months to get in contact with them, and it's finally being dealt with privately. They then followed that up with, they really have no interest in communicating with me privately, they simply blocked me on every social media possible. Now, may I just highlight how they claim that it's being dealt with privately, and then they follow that immediately up with, they blocked me on every platform. So, very clearly, they aren't trying to resolve it with you privately. You may also notice that Len put victim in quotes, highlighting that Len doesn't believe they are a victim of Len's behaviour. Now, noting their age, them being 14, Len being a consenting adult, and also noting that Len's actions are morally bankrupt and legally irresponsible and criminal, I definitely believe that it's fair grounds to call them a victim. I don't believe that Len should be mocking this or trying to pass it off like it isn't the case. Len then follows up by saying, Why contact the victim's parent? My reputation is being torn in the most selfish way possible. Any information is false, exaggerated, and claimed to continuously treat me as a literal criminal. Now, noting the fact that in the past, Len has admitted to what they did and acknowledged that it was a crime, and also the fact that there is evidence out there showing the chats where Len spoke to a 14-year-old and asked for more videos of them, you know what type of videos, Len is a criminal, and you're not being slandered, the information isn't false, exaggerated, or claimed to continuously treat you as a criminal. The information is proof that you're a criminal. And this isn't the most selfish way possible. The victim hasn't done anything wrong. You took advantage of them. They didn't take advantage of you. Also, are you really surprised that their family blocked you? They want nothing to do with you. You literally illicitly involved yourself with their child. Len also excuses how long it took to even reach out to their family by claiming that the pandemic had an involvement in this scenario. How would the pandemic somehow cause issue with texting someone online or reaching out to them online that would prolong it to the point of taking three months to reach out to someone? It's very clear that you either didn't make the effort or they didn't want to respond to you for that long. Len continues by saying that they shared all the information in their response video with honesty and without directly defending themselves. Apparently that's done intentionally because if they ever did defend themselves, people will always conclude that they're victim blaming. And then they follow up by immediately victim blaming, stating, let me remind you, there was no victim in the first place. I did not predatory behavior, that girl. I did not manipulate her. She really was my best friend. The mistake here is that I let anything slide in our relationship, be it without thinking consequences. I did not deny that I did nasty things, and that's a very big issue on my part. I treated her as an equal. I mean, that's how I think best friends work, but that's literally the problem here. Ignoring the age gap and ending up thinking she's a romantic partner. If you review my response video, consider how many times I wanted to get away from that person. Why didn't you think about the age gap? There's one statement that convinced me it's okay from the beginning, which she also used to convince me again. The consent age. Now, here we go. This is the point I'm trying to highlight. This is where Len starts blaming the victim. Len says that they weren't a victim, and Len then claims that they were the one convincing him and manipulating him. That is not the case. Len, you took advantage of that child. And later in this thread, you go on to further blame them, trying to make more excuses for your own behaviour, claiming that they are part of a group that's trying to cancel you because they have some sort of malicious intention. Also, treating someone as equal doesn't mean that there's no predatory behaviour. Also, you can't say there was no victim. They were a minor that you took advantage of and manipulated to gain a lot of indecent material. Given Len also mentions that they're part of the community, it can be presumed that this victim was a fan of Len. So, furthermore, that is another power dynamic that's been taken advantage of here. Len did take advantage of this person, but I'll continue with their statement. Len states that the girl forgave them. Now, I've never actually seen any proof of the girl forgiving Len in any kind of way, and considering the fact that the girl still doesn't want to talk to Len, and is still actively talking about how bad of a person Len is, I highly doubt that they ever forgave Len. Also, a victim that was taking advantage of you in the first place should not be forgiving you in any kind of way. They shouldn't be involving themselves with you in any kind of way. It should be up to the people looking after them, their guardians, to get them the help they need and their guardians to come to that kind of decision. Because a child that's already been taken advantage of doesn't really understand this type of thing very well. A child doesn't know right from wrong in this situation. They can't be expected to understand the gravity of what Len did. Here we go though, this is where it gets me so angry. About the alt account on Discord and the audio. Now, 
During the past few months, I had to wait for the chance to communicate with the parent, and so I spent my time in my alternative account in Discord to still remain in contact with people. Another reason is to observe, or I guess spy on the girl. So firstly, Len completely throws out the window the concept of never contacting this person that wants nothing to do with you again, the victim they took advantage of, and they instead decide to spy on the victim they manipulated. To my surprise, she pretended to be innocent. Remember that she claimed to be traumatized and depressed? Those words are really just misused to gain sympathy. That is one of the most despicable things I've ever read. Len tries to chalk up the trauma that they pushed upon this victim to sympathy baiting. She claims those words, and yet she still has the confidence to put lewd lines on her status with her now ex-boyfriend. How is that even relevant? You know that what can be seen in a lot of victims of this type of stuff is a way of very sexually expressing themselves. It's a way to get through it. Also, they've barely been free from you for long. It's not likely that they're just gonna become super against sexual stuff. Also, they're a kid and I'm guessing their other partner was a kid. It's very different to have a relationship with someone around your age, a healthy relationship, and a relationship with some adult that is taking advantage of them. Also, again, no evidence of this at all. So, great. Love that. Love that there's no source cited here. Len then discusses how they were engaging themselves in other gacha servers to try and build up a reputational repertoire so that people won't be as questioning of them. And Len then claims that they got caught streaming in that server and apparently audio of them got leaked out of the server which destroyed the reputation of a Discord server. Now, I have no clue what this is in reference to because again, Len doesn't cite any sources for anything but from what I can tell, Len was doing pretty bad stuff in another server or saying some things that would look very bad for their reputation and now they're claiming they're being blackmailed because the victim gained access to this. Len continues that there was a plan after discussing with the parents to expose the exposers back but Lem realizes that if they did that, it will destroy the gacha community as a whole because the group that they're exposing are people with high reputation. At this point, I have no idea what Lem's going on about. How is exposing a lot of people with high reputation gonna destroy the community as a whole? Bad people in a community doesn't mean the whole community will just disappear. There's been a lot of bad Minecraft content creators. That doesn't mean that all of the Minecraft content creation community has just faded out of existence overnight. The community still exists and is still thriving. Also, expose the exposers back. You make it seem like they're the ones that did wrong and that you're innocent. What is the point here? Len, if you recognize that you're a criminal, if you recognize that what you did was wrong, like you admitted in the past and like everyone has seen, you should really just take a step back from social media, stop trying to call out other people because you want petty revenge, and never ever do this type of thing again. You shouldn't have a platform at all, let alone a platform that you're trying to now use to expose people apparently. Len then calls the people that called him out parasites and people toxic enough to make these issues. Len, you did wrong. You did a lot of wrong. The people calling you out aren't the people that are in the wrong and you have no right to ever justifiably say that in any kind of way. What you did was wrong and the people calling you out aren't bad people because they called you out or they aren't toxic people because they called you out. Obviously, they may have made other mistakes that would make them bad people but what they did when calling you out is not something that they should be exposed for, not something that they should be slammed for, because what they did was they called you out on your wrongdoing. Finally, Len says, for the future of this channel, I decided to still continue making content, even if people treat me as a criminal. I'll be making videos for the sake of my family. I'm still a college student, I make videos for fun to the point I supported my family with our financial problems. Of course, my passion to animate is still intact, so I'm doing it for self gain as well. Len, you do not deserve the right to return to content creation. You do not deserve the right to ever consider this a future job for yourself. By the fact that you've lost so many subscribers before hiding your subscriber count, it cannot be overstated how little people actually want you to remain in this community. Only the incredibly young kids of which you could take advantage of in this community want you back because they don't understand the gravity of what you did and they're trying to forgive you because they believe it's their place to do so. 
Len, you don't deserve a place on this platform. You do not deserve to be able to use this as a way to make money. You should be able to get a minimum wage job working at McDonald's and that should be where the rest of your life goes. You do not deserve to have a platform as big as you do if you're going to use it to take advantage of people and excuse your predatory behavior. Just like people like EDP445, you should lose your platform. Len also states further on that they've deleted all their other social media and they intend to rebrand their channel and close comments completely. Basically removing their name from it so that people won't tie them to their past name and hiding their comments so that no one can call them out on changing their name and try and call them out on what they did in the past so that they can continue garnering an audience and growing their following. Len, that's despicable. You shouldn't be trying to avoid what happened or trying to skate your way out of this situation you did wrong you don't deserve to return and that is where i'll end this video this video was more of a long one but i wanted to go in depth on everything len said and also bring up their whole past if you did enjoy this video or other videos like this one you can support me financially through patreon and ko-fi in the description you can also subscribe to the channel turn on notifications and leave a like on this video also leave a comment so that you can help this video do better and bring more awareness to this situation. Just leaving a comment or supporting the fundraiser on the right helps this video. But by leaving a comment, you help this video get into the algorithm. So please do leave comments. I reply to almost every one of them. So if you comment, you'll get a reply and it would be highly appreciated. Also, my other social media are in the description. If you want to check them out, that would be also be highly appreciated. I appreciate all of the recent support. It means so damn much that you guys support me so much. And with that being said, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace. Says you wanna rock when it like me. I'm a stylish guy. Spend a little walk when it like me. We can catch a fly. Says you wanna rock when it like me.